Yeah, let's go. Let's do this. Cool. Here I am sitting with uh, Ivan Neville. Ivan, what's up? Nothing much, man. Just hanging, you know. Kicks ass, man. Listen, you're uh, you're in Kansas City now. You got a gig tomorrow. What's going yeah. on? Well, um, I think I'm going to go have me some ribs about 8 o'clock. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. You and Bruce Willis are kicking it at the Uptown Theater. Yeah. On, mm -hmm. yeah, on Broadway. Club Bruno. Yeah, I see that club. It's a fun time. It's the finest it's club. It's a fun time. In Kansas City. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So check it out. There like, damn. All right. All right, so Bruce Willis, new music label, Up Top Entertainment, launches their first CD tour with Ivan Neville. Yeah. You're the first artist to be signed by him. Yeah. That's, that's kick ass. Yeah. How, how do you yeah. feel about that, man? I feel pretty good about it, actually. I'm... You're looking I'm, good. I'm, I'm, oh, you know yeah. Tired, oh, yeah. I ain't really looking that good right now. I mean, yeah, you know. I feel I'm pretty excited about it, you know. Um, hey, get to make a little music, you know. Maybe some people will hear it and appreciate it, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. So, the motion picture superstar, Bruce Willis, favorite movie. What is it? Well,. Pulp Fiction. I mean, you know, Pulp Fiction. That's not like a quote-unquote. That's not like a Bruce Willis movie, but it is a Bruce Willis movie. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's Butch. Step aside, Butch. That's with right. With that scene with Ving Rhames and... Oh, that was yeah. bad. Yeah. <laughs> but, and Bruce, Bruce yeah. Volta, yeah, it was Bruce good. Bruce. Simon Jackson, yeah. Pulp Fiction. That's my favorite one with Bruce. Yeah. Mine's got to be... 12 Monkeys. 12 Monkeys is bad, too, with Brad Pitt. <laughs> Brad Pitt was great in that as well, yeah. Yeah, I'm just a little whack like that. That's just No, crazy. I like that, too. Yeah. Hell, yeah. I just kind yeah. of show up and, oops, he's here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, he's unveiled his own music label, Up Top Entertainment. What's so special about that, Up Top? What was special about it is that um, these guys, Bruce and Gary Gold, um started up top basically to try to cultivate some music that you know might not get heard you know what i mean um a lot of stuff falls through the cracks you know and um i'm a guy who's been around for a while I, you know I, i'm a great I, i'm a pretty good side man you know I, I like to be in a band i like to play you know i play with a lot of people as a member of band, of different bands, like Bonnie Raitt, Keith Richards, yeah. you know, done some studio stuff with the Stones and Robbie Robertson and various people, you know, and not to mention the Neville brothers yeah. and, and my dad and, and, my, and my uncles. But um, who is it? Come on in. <laughs> cool, man. We'll just, we'll just roll tape. Well, okay, I'm a guy who's been around, you know, and I've, and I've been in the business for, for a while. And... Um, most of my life, you know, and um, then I hit some wrong turns, you know, I hit some some left turns when I was supposed to go right, and I went left, and it took its toll on me, and um, basically I was given another chance, you know, and then when I met up with Bruce, you know, and Gary Gold, and we talked about doing um, doing a record. And they were talking about starting up top. And it was basically, you know, like um, out, out of love for music, you know. Yeah. And they knew I was a, a stand-up guy, you know. Who, and, um, you know, maybe I got something to say that should be heard. So um, we created a, an, an environment that, um, that was just perfect to make this record. You know, like like I was telling you earlier when, when we were talking, um, you know, we wrote these songs as we went along. This is not some, you know, f you know, big time planned out, thought out stuff. You know, it was like we got in the studio and just wrote songs, and it turned out to be this record. You know, I was talking to you earlier for like we had an hour long conversation, just kicking it like uh, at the bar. And Chilling, like musicians do, and yeah. and you're real. I gotta tell you that a lot of people aren't. Make a big head, 
and you, you're a singer, and you're down to earth, all about the blues. And I gotta yeah. tell you, I heard this um, this morning, as soon as I woke up. I was like, man, I gotta rock to something. It might be ministry, it might be something really heavy. All right, and, all right. you know? But you got this record, and I produce, and I record, and whatever. I hear stuff that's flat from the big studios, there's the analog studios, there's the digital studios, there's all these different sounds, but something special about Up Top, what Bruce Willis did is capturing that magic. You know yeah, well, he, um, Gary, built the, Gary Gold built the studio in, 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 a, in a house, in, in one of Bruce's houses up on Mulholland in L.A., and um, it sounds great in there. We got the best of... I mean, I think we got the best of both worlds in this record as far as like old school meets new school. I mean, we used modern technology, but we captured a lot of heart and a lot of soul, you know? And you came out of a rough part of your life a few yeah. years ago. Yeah, yeah. You were doing drugs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Drinking heavily. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it happens. It happens in, in, in the music business. It happens in, in many walks of life, you know, but... um. It just kind of got the best of me, and luckily I got out alive, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I feel pretty blessed myself. Uh, Hans of Banshee, I just got word that he flipped his truck over. Oh, really? Right after I spoke with you earlier. Oh, man. And I think he's dead. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Banshee was a big Kansas City band. He's supposed to be Oh, man, man. Right? Oh, man. So I understand about second chances. And you know, like, you got to take, you know. Every day. Yeah. Every day. So Bruce has got this great thing, and we talked about magic a lot earlier. Magic in, uh, in the studio, and, and you, you write in the studio, and, and Gary Gold's producing the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, he's got a talent, man, because, you know, first thing when I woke up, I put it like 200 watts, I was checking it out, right on. I went instantly to the, the crown, pushed the 1200 watts on, and the Furman, and, and boom, I had that shit up at 1200 <laughs> watts. <laughs> Digging all over yeah, the you know it. what? Snapping on that, on that snare. Yeah. First song. It's pumping. It hooked me in, your vocals. Yeah, I do vocals too, but damn, you're smooth. Thanks, man. And you you got it all going on. I don't know why there aren't 50 chicks in here right now. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, I got to get my rest, you know. All I know is, man, I'm just right on. So you got this 13 city tour, and uh, Ivan Neville, some popular R&B veteran, Aaron Neville of the Neville Brothers, fame and former member of Keith Richards' Expensive Winos. Ivan is kicking off a 13-city tour, starting in Atlanta on January 11th. Willis and his band, The Accelerators. What's up with Willis and his Willis and the Accelerators, man. No, nah, I mean, hello. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, bro, you know what? The Accelerators are a kick-ass band, and um, you know, Bruce just doing what he loves to do, and he gets out there, plays some harmonicas, sings some blues, and and he's a great. He, he works, he's great with the, with people. He's great with the audience, and they, they love him, you know what I'm saying? He rocks, man. He fucking rocks, yeah. You know, I was sitting at a yeah. bar, kicking it with my tattoo friends the other day, and some, like, great Kansas City musicians at, at uh, Harry's Cigar Box. And this chick at the end of the counter says, you know, I don't know, somebody's talking about the concert or Tom Thursday. Mm -hmm. Right, right, Thursday. right. And she goes straight in and saying, shit, his band sucks. And I said, what are you talking about, man? He was an artist, and and he accidentally did some film that fully rocks. I mean, that's it. His, that's his day job. You know, he's got a damn yeah. good day job. You know. Oh yeah, man. So he gets he gets to come out here, and we get to travel, and um, he's how he, the guy's the guy's pretty much doing me a solid. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. he started his company. You know, he he wants he he wants other people to get to hear this music, and you know, and the way. The market is the way. I mean, the way the, the music, the scene is today with everything. Just a lot of stuff is shoved down your throat. A lot, a lot of stuff that maybe if you had a choice, you may not. You know, you may not really. You know, want to hear this all the time, 
but it's just there and it's saturated with stuff that's market driven specifically to make money. I know. You know, so someone like me, who's, you know, I'm not 20, I'm not 20, 25 years old, you know, I mean, I look like I'm maybe 27, at the most 30, you know, I could uh, pass for 30. You're um, kicking it hard like a 22 <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But um, basically the market, the marketplace is, you know, it is, it's hard to get in because everything's so, like, formulated. I mean, you got the hip hop, you got the urban, you got the pop, the teen pop. You got the rock rap thing going, you know? And you got the classic rock radio stations. I mean, so where do you play a guy like my, myself? Where do you play my music? Some of it's based on R&B, some of it's soul, some of it's funk, some of it's rocking, some of it's a little, you know? So what do you do with it? So basically, this is, this is giving me an avenue to maybe, maybe a lot of people hear this, you know? I know. And with Bruce's, you know, Bruce is a, he's a movie star. That's his day gig, you know? So he's got access to millions of people. Well, Love look. this guy. So basically, a lot of these people are going to look at Bruce because they're going to always look at him, you know? That's Bruno, and then he's going to point at me. He says, oh, look at Ivan, you know? So that's basically it. I just got hip to you yesterday, and here I am right now. And I tell you what, man. Your stuff rocks, and I'm a rocker, man. And what you're doing on your record, there's it's like this on, on a production side, engineer side. There's this different EQ on every song, this different <coughs> sound, like they're all done at different studios, from the analog to the digital to the effects used. Um, that's great to hear. You know what I'm saying? That's great hear to hear. It. Yeah, that's good to know. It, it rocks. You, yeah, and you hear it like it's that. Pristine. It, it's beautiful crisp sound and, and your drummer man tell me about your drummer Gary Gary's a, Gary's a great drummer Gary's a, an extraordinary um, engineer and producer and we co-wrote co-produced all of the stuff together and that's what brought out each character I mean each song has its own Characteristic character. Each, each song is its own story, is its own time and place. So when we approach each song, we didn't approach the songs as like you know, you know how when some recording some records, there's a there's a semblance of similarity throughout the whole record. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Blast. this one's basically. I mean, there is some textures that's maybe you know, kind of connect to one another in some way, but basically each song is its own entity, you know, it's its own thing. Yeah. What do you think about the non-motivational aspect that a lot of local musicians have in towns? Well, yeah, well you know, it's, it's, it's rough. Yeah. It's, I mean, I know I'm from New Orleans, and New Orleans is known as, I mean, New Orleans is, you know, a great musical city. You know, it's got a lot of history. And, but, you know, now in New Orleans, there's a lot of frustrated, non motivated musicians who good. just settle for like the little gig, a couple little bar gigs or whatever, and they got a little day job, yeah. stuff like that. I mean, it's, it's not, it's hard, you know, because yeah. the market is really mean. You know, I mean, people are not just, you know, giving you record deals this day, these days based on how good your music is. It's based on how can we sell you. So like, Do you look good? Are you young enough? You know, blah, you know, that can you dance and blah, 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 you know? And it's not about, you know, I mean, there's some good music out there. I mean, I ain't gonna, you know, I like a lot of that stuff. You get that song, Pump Up the Volume. That's probably my, that's probably my closest connection with with people under, <laughs> I don't know, how old you got to be to know that song? Yeah, I'm still digging it, though. Great club. Man. I mean, that song was, that was probably my, um, the most downloaded song of mine was that song from that soundtrack. Thanks to Napster? Yeah, well, yeah, I'm a Napster. Papster. <laughs> you know, that's... Well, I support the artists. You know, the thing about it is Napster, all that stuff, I mean, you know what, I'm not really against it or for it. 
But I mean, maybe if it may give, give some people a little bit more exposure, that's fine. But basically, when you go out and buy the record, you know, you're contributing something. You know what I'm saying? This is what this is how we make a living. So, you know, all you Napster downloaders and whatnot. You know, think about us, you know. You can download it, but go buy the CD as well. That's what I'm saying. Get the artwork, the lyrics, what? the credits, <laughs> you know. What? But Come on, be a part, of the, a part of the team, you know. I bought your CD, and I, I see breakfast. I see breakfast. Bacon and eggs, there you go. CD, yeah, uh, bacon and eggs. And uh, it's Ivan Neville, Saturday Morning Music. Name yeah. off your band members. How'd you meet them? My band happened? members, okay. I got, um... Sean Solomon is playing bass. Sean, I've, I've known Sean a few years. We met in Los Angeles. And Sean, around the time I was playing with Keith Richards in the Expensive Winos, Sean was playing with Ron, Ronnie Wood's solo band. And Sean's a New York guy. He's from Queens, New York. Great player, great guy. I got um, Gary Gold, who co-wrote co-produced, um, engineered the, the, the Saturday Morning Music record. And he's, he's he, I call him the Mad Hatter right now, you know, because he's also, you know, one, he, he also runs the Up Top Music along with Bruce. And, um, and he's a good drummer, you know. And I got Bernard Fowler singing with me, helping out with the vocals. And Bernard's been on it probably the last five or six Rolling Stones tours yeah. and records. And he's a guy I've been knowing for, for, for a while. And um, Kat Dyson's on guitar. Yeah. And she is one of the baddest guitar players, you know. See, and she, no, I mean, she is, she is amazing. Mm -hmm. And she's a beautiful sister, you know. When I buy something on music, and I work hard, man, you know. I pick up something that, that rocks. I'll listen to it on the little headphones at the record stores and I pay attention to names because names can really produce some crap. Well, um, you know what? who's on this record is, is a pretty good little list of folks, too. Well, aside from the names, all I got to say, <laughs> yeah, I'm not one for names, but it, it rocks. Cool. I, I had that sucker at 1,700 watts with all the piano <laughs> on Piano was bouncing up hey, the bro. across the floor. I do. Yeah, it was, dude. It was. Yeah. So Keith Richards is... Keith, you know, is on, Keith is on the record. Bonnie Raitt's on the record. George Duke. Um, Robin Ford. Michael Brecker. Bobby Womack. Aaron Neville. And some no, numerous others, you know? Yeah. You, sound, you know, when I listen to the record and the blues jazz people are going to love this, it's not all just blues and jazz. It's rocking. I hear some Motown in there. There's a lot of roots. And more important, it's fresh. And what you got going is full on hot. Thank you, man. I got to tell you. Thank you. And Keith Richards, I heard on the street that uh, what's up with uh, what songs you played on? Well, you know what? I will not tell you. You got a big secret. <laughs> That's all right. You got to listen to it and say, which one is Keith on? But, I ain't saying. I bet if everybody listens hard enough, we'll figure you it out. Know, you know, you know when you hear it. I got to tell everybody, you got to check out this fat website. www.uptopmusic.com So there. Um, I was checking out the website. It's uh, Bruce Willis's record label. Ivan Neville is the first to uh, be produced and record, and uh, this guy's full on real, no big head, nothing. And I'm, I'm digging this. I'm digging these moments right now. But you gotta check out the website, man. It's cool. Yeah. I, I look, you got the blue screen, motion picture thing going. You punch on the jukebox. Yeah. It's got these it's pretty cool. Really yeah. bright colors and artwork and. You know, it, it's simple, it's easy, it's not confusing, and just clustered with all these banner ads and junk. So you get what you want to know, and right on. So props to uh, Pioneer and the website that yeah. works, too, seriously. Um, so i, I got to mention your tour dates. Uh, you can watch Ivan on tour 
January 11th through the 30th in the following cities. You just uh, you played Atlanta on the 11th. Yeah, Atlanta, New Orleans. Earthlink Live, January yeah. 12th, New Orleans, House of Blues. Yeah. That's, that's played at Anton's in Austin. Yeah. Um, Deep Ellum in Dallas. And then we're going to be in Kansas City tomorrow night. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's so cool. Uh, January 14th, Austin. Yeah. Towns. Uh, 15th, to Dallas, Deep Ellum. 17th, Kansas City. That's tomorrow night. Uptown, yeah. the A. Yeah. And, dude, that's like the smoothest, coolest. All right, thing. I'm looking forward to hanging out there. So all the props to that. Let's see, January 18th, St. Louis Pops. And January 19th, Chicago, Chubby Bear. January 21st, Detroit, St. Andrews. Chubby Rain. I just thought about that Bowfinger movie. Chubby Rain. Remember that? That rock. Remember Chubby Rain? <laughs> that rock, It's actually man. the Cubby Bear, that club. It was the Chicago Cubs, the Cubby Bear, right? Right? That's what the club. But Chubby Rain. <laughs> That, that movie's full on return. I think I've seen That's it. That's stupid. I think I've seen it. Uh, well. That's yeah, stupid. Yeah. And I think we're going to do, we're going to be on David Letterman show on the 29th of January. That would be correct. Yeah. Yeah, the late show with David Letterman. I know Letterman. things, you know. I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, as far as knowing things, I listen to your lyrics. Rock. Um, it's lyrically inclined. It's it's what's going on. The world right now has got some issues. Yeah. And we're trying to get away from some seriousness. Everybody's close to their families. And, yeah, about uh, time, you know. I mean, it's, it's a shame that it takes some tragedies, you know, to happen to make people realize how good we really have it, you know. Yeah. We take a lot of things for granted, you know. Yeah. I have to agree. By the time we start appreciating one another, you know? So, yeah. your, your music, you know, aside from it being fresh and all types of music going on there, kicking it with Bruce Willis and the Celebrators, mm -hmm. um, I gotta say, man, it's, it's refreshing to have something like that. And the world events need something like this. Yeah. Because Saturday morning music, Ivan Neville, is just, you know, when you want to smooth out, lounge out, relax, unwind after the grind, stressing on bills, <laughs> family, whatever. Yeah. It's, it chills me straight out. That's I good. I don't need any Xanax or nothing. All right. That's yeah. good, because that's what it's meant to do, you know, because it's, it's, kind of, it's, kind of, it's the kind of record you can play, in, especially on Saturday morning, and cleaning up, cleaning up your crib, cooking a little food or something, whatnot. Throw it on, listen to it all the way through, yeah. from track one to track 13, and play it all over again. Favorite 10 bands? Name them all. Favorite 10 bands. Okay. The Meters, Sly and the Family Stone, Rolling Stones, Beatles, bands or just artists, period? Whatever. Okay, Marvin Gaye. Curtis Mayfield. Uh, 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 uh. Damn. <laughs> Anything that any Neville brother does. My dad, those, you know, my family, I got to put them in there. Of course. Um, what was it like growing up with them? It was wonderful. It was crazy. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Well, I'm up to like seven, my seven favorite band. I don't know. I, you know what? I like Always Winning Fire, you know. Yeah. 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 Parliament Funkadelic, please. Oh, man. Tell me about they play it. Seattle so much. Yeah, Parliament, Parliament Funkadelic. They rock. And, um, the movie they were in, what was that? I, <laughs> they, they, they played in a movie. Oh, really? George, George Clinton was in a movie? Yeah, uh, yeah. It was just, just like college type movies. It was cool as hell. Full on retarded. I loved it. It was great. I'll have to think of that later. A um, couple of questions from some retarded friends of mine. I'm sick. I forgot about those. Jeez. What's that? I forgot about them questions. Oh, the weird some, ones? Some stupid shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're Go stupid. ask them real quick. I'm getting, I'm tired. You want to wrap up? Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs>